Okay, now we're going to talk about tools that have been used on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. Every cover that you've seen, and this is a tool they use to get rid of pimples and zits on those wonderful models. Uh, the rubber stamp tool and the healing brush are good for taking sections of an image and just getting rid of it or making it blend in to the background using textures from another part of the image. So let's get started. We're going to start with a really bad example, but I, but I just want to show you how the thing works. So we've got this ancient Greek uh, island here. And uh, like, uh, let's say this, we want this little one to go away. Well, what I could do is I could I could just take uh I could just use the color matcher, go to green here, green shows up for foreground color. I could just take the rectangular marquee tool, da 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 da, da and just do a edit fill bing boop foreground color bam boop doop oop wrong color. I should have used this blue. So this this match up the blue and edit fill again poof gone ding okay okay so I, we could do it that way let's get out mr history panel and bring that back we'll go back here there we go so so now that was an easy one but look at how smooth this texture is that's one color of this shade of blue <laughs> very easy to do but but here's how the rubber stamp tool works. I've got a really big brush, doesn't really matter. I hold the Alt key down. When I hold the Alt key down on the keyboard, it gives me this little thingy here. And I'm going to Alt click over here. Watch this. I Alt click here. I let go of the Alt key. I come over here. I hold the, no, notice how this little bubbles blue, it's kind of funny. Now when I hold the mouse button down, now it's transferring, it's kind of hard to see, to the left of my cursor, you'll see a little crosshair. And you'll see that little crosshair moving around, it's transferring the information from under the crosshair to the brush. Very important. It's hard to see that little crosshair moving around over there to the left. Look at it. See? The island's gone. And now now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to alt, oops, wrong key, alt click here. And I can come over here and you'll see that little crosshair moving around again transferring that information. Now, that, that's an easy image. Let's come in here. Now, here in this image, it, it makes sense. Let's say I want to come in here and get rid of this boat. Okay, so, so I go back. Mag Magic Wand tool is selected. I come over here. I've got a big boat. Notice how small my brush is. I might get a bigger brush to make this easier. If this were a pimple, then I, I'd, I'd use a really small brush. If I get, if my brush is big enough, I can get rid of it in one stroke. So I come over here. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to hold the Alt key down and click. Alt click. I come over here to my boat. Notice the crosshair showing up, and it's going to transfer that information right over the boat. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Notice these two little redundant dots that we have right here. I'll just come over here, Alt-click, click, come over here, click one time. Sometimes a click is as good as a drag. Now, notice if I Alt-click over here, Alt-click, bing, and come over here and click, boop. Notice, well, that doesn't work out too bad. Let's do it again, Alt-click, 
ding over here. Well, I'm dragging over here now. Notice the texture is totally, it's working, but the texture isn't quite right. Now, let's go to another image. Now, that that is the magic, uh, that's the, that's the uh, clone tool. What do they call that thing in the toolbar? Do, 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 clone stamp. Fine. Okay. Now, wh what I want to do now is I want to get rid of this lady all together and maybe these kids. Uh, you'd think that this would be simple because the sky is blue. Of course, there's 16.7 million colors that the human eye can see. So, so I got, I got it must be at least uh, 3 million shades of blue. So, if I come in here and I alt click, rubber stamp tool is selected. I have a big brush. If I alt click here, bing, and come over here and start doing my thing. Ooh, you have to be careful. No, notice you got a double head. If you come over too far, look at what's going on. I don't want that. I don't want. Look at what's going on. That's not good. I'm going too far. It takes some getting used to. Let's go back in time in the history panel. I love the history panel. So I'm going to come over here a little bit further. Alt click. Click over here. Then I'll come over here. And I give myself plenty of room, always watching that crosshair to see what information is being picked up. Very slow. So, so that worked kind of nicely. Um, but what if we alt-click here, bing, and come over here and get this lady's head? Woo, woo, look at the crosshair. Oh, now this, this is the problem that I thought I would run into with the other lady's head. Now, notice this. That apparently is fake. This lady doesn't look so bad. That came through kind of nicely, but this lady looks fake. And that's because with all these shades of blue, it's, it doesn't work. I mean, this is a clear, apparent color differential going from here to there. Well, let's go back in time in the history panel, bring both the ladies back. This is a job for the healing brush tool. The healing brush tool. and it, 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 The concepts are pretty much the same. I'm going to get a nice big brush because I don't want to work too hard. That's too big. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I clicked. Okay, now here we go. Now I've got this bright blue over here. Now, if I wanted to do it Easily, I might take the rubber stamp, go up here and get this dark blue, put it down here. Well, color differential wouldn't look so hot, but, well, okay, let's, let's try it. Now, I have the healing brush. The healing brush is selected. I'm going to alt-click here. Ding! I come down here. Notice that clear color differential. This should not work. So, I'm going to drag through here like this. Poof! Looky there. Oh, looky there. What has happened is it's taken this clear color here, and, and what it does is it's blending it into the background. Uh, it, it, it takes this color and blends that color over the existing colors. This is a good one for pimples and that kind of stuff. This may look better. Let's go. Let's go back here. Let's go. Let's say we want to get rid of this lady's shiny spot on her head. This may be more appropriate. Face face stuff seems to work. Now, here we're going to need a smaller brush so you can see how this works. We got this huge brush. Let's reduce the size of the brush significantly and try to do something that will work. Okay, now now here, if I want to get rid of these shiny spots, if I take this skin color and put it over here, it's going to blend this color over the existing color. So I can, and, and I don't have much room to work with here. So, so if I alt click, poof, like that, I can come up here, click, 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 click. Notice, 
I'm just clicking. I'm going to come back here and get some more color. It's blending. Let's see if we can drag a little bit and see what happens. It's blending. Uh, alt click. Come up here and get some of this. It's blending. We're going to get rid of that spot, but it's blending over the spot. Sometimes maybe I should have gone for a darker spot. Maybe I should have gone. So, so you have to experiment. Either way, the shininess is is going. It's blending. You got to watch the crosshair, see where it's going. It's blending. Okay, so the shiny spot, we've got it manageable. Sure, it looks like somebody gave her a mo mohawk in the middle of her head, but Let's zoom out. There you go. See you. Yeah, I mean, I I knew I was gonna get a little leeway because I was zoomed in. Hey, so you know, I got rid of the shiny spot. So the blending, the the healing brush, takes a texture and and blends it over an existing texture, while the clone tool is a clone. The clone tool will uh uh. The clone tool will just uh, replicate what what is there. Now here, here like in my first example, I just took this. I could just copy this and paste this all the way across, or I could it and just uh, you know free transform it all the way across. That just wouldn't work. But if and I can't use the healing brush because if I try to put this texture over these colors, it's going to it's going to blend in. That's not going to work. So I'm 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 going to have to go with the rubber stamp tool. Move the uh, toolbar over here. Okay, how are we going to do this? And we don't have much room to work with. Let's uh, reduce the brush size. What do we got? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start here. I'm just going to go Alt-Click right here. Alt-Click. Notice I'm clicking right on that horizon. Come over here. And here we go. Notice I'm stopping right at those little girls' heads. I know where I am. I know what I'm doing. I come back over here. Alt-Click right here. And slowly drag, closely watching my crosshair because if I go too far, it's going to start replicating those the heads. Alt click right here. Slowly drag across like this. Alt click here. Give myself plenty of room. Slowly drag across like that. Maybe I should have used a bigger brush. Alt click, slowly drag across, watching my crosshair. Alt click here. Let's slowly drag across like that. I'm going to come down here. Should have used a bigger brush, but you, but you can get the drift. You get the drift. And then you can come in here and alt click some more. I find myself, once I get going, sometimes I have to alt click like over here get Get a little thing going like that. See, and then, then you can get messy. See, now, once you get it going, uh, then then you're good. I mean, you can see you could just spend hours doing this. This videotape, the time is just running way too long. you got to talk to yourself while you're doing this. See, looky there, yeah. Once you get, once you get your groove on, then... You uh, increase the size of it. Once you get your groove, once you get your groove on, hey, then you can come over here with a big brush, alt click, and you can come over here and just start really grooving, always watching your crosshair. I'm going to come down, go back. Oh, we got the groove going now. Hey, look at that. Ooh, Taurus be gone, Taurus be gone, there you go, we can go up, can we go up, yes, we can go up, get rid of her, hey, it's magic, there you go, ooh, that's kind of cool, it looked like a science fiction movie, um, so there you go, there is the rubber stamp tool and the healing brush, have fun.